I went on a I went on a third date recently. <laughs> oh yeah, that is the noise of someone who knows what happens on a third date. <laughs> yeah, you we uh, we went to Weatherspoon's Chicken Club for the third time in three weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the guy I went with was the tallest guy uh, I'd ever been on a date with. He was six foot six, and uh, he had to get his shoes off the internet. That's what drew me in. Ooh, tell me more. <laughs> I was so excited, but I was also a bit nervous, right? Because things were going quite well. And by the third day, I don't think it's shallow to be wondering if it's all in proportion. <laughs> it was more for my own health and safety. Because <laughs> I was genuinely getting really nervous. And uh, I'd built it up in my head. I'd been calling it the destroyer for two weeks. <laughs> and I was getting really worried. And um, I can't believe I'm going to tell you this. I did something I'd never done before. And uh, I bought some lube. And a shoehorn. <laughs> and there was Barry from St. John's Ambulance there as well, just in case. I didn't know. And then... Uh, we were doing kissing, and I hope this makes sense to some of you in the room, right? So we were doing kissing, and I knew we were taking things to the next step because we'd stopped doing the sort of kissing where you're smiling and having fun, like, and we started doing that sort of kissing where you have to pretend that you're angry with each other, <laughs> and you're having an asthma attack, <laughs> and you've lost your glasses. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So you go from, oh, oh, to I'm livid with you do you know what I mean I was like I'm gonna see the destroyer yeah I was really, I was really excited and then um, I was I was trying to sort of like lunge a bit to warm the area while we were kissing Ooh. why I'm a single I don't know Ooh. And then, then came my favourite, favourite bit of sex, right? And as an adult woman, <laughs> it shouldn't be what I look forward to, but it is. And it's when, <laughs> oh God, it's when a mister's excited, right? But he's still got his pants on. I know, raunchy. And, uh, <laughs> and the pants are coming off, right? And the elasticated band of the pants pushes his stiffy all the way down. <laughs> Some of you know already, brilliant. Pushes it all the way down. And you know when them pants come down just a few more centimetres, that dick is going to spring out! <laughs> and it's the best bit! The spring and the little wobble! Oh, It's amazing! Yes, yes! But you can't laugh! You can't because you're in serious asthmatic mode. <laughs> so it springs out and you have to go, Fwa. <laughs> Delicious. Not delicious. <laughs> That's the wrong word. A different word. Uh, <laughs> so this was about to happen, right? And as I say, with this guy, I was, <laughs> I was really nervous. And I just read a book. Um, not a book, a paragraph on Wikipedia. <laughs> about chaos theory and butterfly effect. And that's the principle, right? That if a butterfly flaps its wings over here, there could be a tornado in Japan. Well, when his pants were coming down, I was worried about Japan. <laughs> <laughs> I was. So they were coming down. I had hold of my shoe on. <laughs> Take cover, good luck, Japan! And do you know what? They came down and um, Japan was fine. <laughs> Japan was absolutely fine. And um, I'm, not, uh, I'm not body shaming. I think all willies are good willies. <laughs> There's got to be an easy way of saying, I'm a slag. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.